Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. Right, so we're gonna play a Career Mode series in version update, uh, version update point twenty-two. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it's update twenty-two. It is research and development in the Career Mode, so we can actually do something, which is fantastic too. So the thing that sets this series apart from the other ones that I did is that, well, this is not gonna be modded. This is gonna be unmodded. The other ones were modded. Frustration ensued, and that's why those were canceled. However, this one's not going to be. It's gonna be completely vanilla, and basically we're just gonna go with the flow. So let's get going. Start new. I'm gonna call this a Solar Space Agency. Good. I have a simple little flag to give us. There we go. Beautiful. And start. Here we are in the lovely KSC. Our Kerbal Knots have just started their space program, and uh, the Solar Space Agency is up and running. Now, the biggest thing that they've added so far is a research and development station, because, well, we need to research into space flight and advanced rocketry and all that jazz, so basically what we have going on right now, let's jump in here, is a simple little tech tree. We only have one thing, this is the start, it doesn't really have a name, it's just called start. Um, it basically gives us a command pod, a uh, liquid fuel engine, solid rocket booster, a fuel tank, a uh, girder segment, communitron, and then a parachute, which still does not have an image for it, but that's fine. Now, we need five science to unlock this one, which is basic rocketry, gives us more fuel options, the uh, mystery goo containment, which gives us more science, and a decoupler, which is always helpful. Okay, so we're gonna need to do a mission before we grab this, because we have zero science. So, we'll jump into the VAB. Okay, here we are. So, let's grab a command pod, because that's what we need to start with. Bring that right there. Go to propulsion, let's see what we wanna do here. We don't have decouplers, so we're basically gonna have to strap this thing together with glue. Alright, put that together, put that together. Yeah, you know what, we'll have some solid rocket boosters. We gotta have some fun. Okay, cool. What else, what else, what else, what else? We need a uh, parachute, of course. You know what, I'm gonna put those on the the, uh, the solid rocket boosters too, just because I don't want these to, you know, act as weights and weigh us down to the point where we just blow up. So, parachute's on there. We need our communitron, of course, and uh... We'll add two, considering we can't put it on the top. That works. That works. We're gonna call this the Pioneer Mark I. There we go. Alright. So this will take us to new frontiers, including the final frontier, space. So, well, there's only one frontier that we can go to, and that's space. But, you know what? That's fine. There's a lot of things to do in space, so this will pioneer the way to other different things to do in space. <laughs> Alright, save that, and let's go. Okay, now we do not currently have the tech to actually get our launch struts, so we're going to be riding that engine for a little while. Um, okay, so first things first, let's get a crew report, see what's going on on the ground. Alright, we record the assessment, we record our launch stage, basically, which is 1.5 science, which is pretty nice. We're going to transmit that immediately. Get out of here. Okay, and we still have plenty of electric charge to spare, that was 1.5 science, just added immediately. Alright, and uh, I think we're ready to go, Jeb. You're the first Kerbonaut that's going to uh, take a maiden voyage into uh, into the atmosphere. I don't think we're getting into space, but we'll see. Alright, in three, two, one, go! Alright, what I want to do is turn ourselves around and start heading a little bit towards 90. Nope, nope, that's not a little bit, that's not a little bit, that's not a little bit! Woo! No! Crew report, crew report, crew report. 3.5. Why don't you transmit that? Okay, this thing is unstable. I apologize. I honestly did not notice. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> we'll keep that data. Alright, can we, can, can we control ourselves, please? No? Wait. You want to. I know you do. Stop running away from it. There we go. Look at that. Okay, guess not. Alright, just just do that. That's fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know why we spun out of control, but that was hilarious. It's fine. We collected enough data to unlock the next thing anyways. Jeb's still happy, that's all I care about. I wish you could, like, turn around to look at him. You can't. It's a pain in the butt. Coming back down. Fast forward. Whoa, that's scary. No, stop. We gotta get out of here. Get out, get out of here. Just in time. Alright, nice. Now, how are we gonna land? We're going 7.4 meters per second, so we're probably gonna break something. 
Ooh, come on. <laughs> Our first rocket flight went a little bit haywire, so hopefully this landing will be a little bit better. Uh Oh, yes. Okay, we're we're safe. We are safe. Good. Very nice. Okay, now one thing I didn't notice was that there's a recover vessel icon right above here. This is beautiful. I had no idea this was here. Thank you, squad, for putting that in there. Um, so we're going to recover this vessel and recover all the science that we uh, we just had. Okay, so here we go. We have crew report while flying over Kerbin Shores, rather crash landing over Kerbin Shores. Uh, that's 1.3 science. And also the recovery of the vessel that survived a flight. That's 5 science. That's amazing. So we already have 11. We have enough to actually go up the tech tree now. So let's see. We're going to go into uh, basic rocketry. Research that. And now we have three other things to choose from. General rocketry, which gives us a solid rocket booster. Another engine and uh, the Separatron. Stability, which gives us uh, a nose cone, some winglets, and the radial decouplers, which we want. So we can drop the, uh, the solid rocket boosters. Uh, so I think we might go into that next, which is 18 science. And then survivability, which is a smaller engine, landing struts, and radial mounted uh, parachutes. Which, this is not that desirable to me at the moment. So I think we're just going to go right into stability. And then once we have the radial decouplers, we'll probably jump into uh, getting this larger rocket booster. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, let's get some more science. So now we have different fuel tanks. So let's throw those off for a second. Get rid of these, and we'll add two of the larger ones. So we have a little bit more fuel than we did the last time, I believe. Oh, uh, maybe not actually, because we had three of these. Let's just stack them just so I can get them together here. Uh. Yeah, it's a little bit more fuel than we had the last time. I'm judging it based on size. Yeah, that matters. <laughs> this had 90. This has 100. Oh, wow, it actually... Oh, yeah, we will. We will. Oh, no, wrong thing. We want to double that up. Good. Now, basically, this is going to be the same thing. Actually, what we can do is add some... Uh, some of this. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful decoupler so we can separate the capsule. We don't really need to put parachutes on this, but I guess it's alright. And, uh, Mystery Goo! Right, Mystery Goo is going to help us out immensely, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick a fuel tank right there, and just stick... maybe four of these? Yeah. Now, the reason why I have the fuel tank there is basically so that we can bring these home safely, while also decoupling the launch stage, so... That's that. Uh, one thing I am gonna do now that we added that extra weight is add, uh, some girders. This is gonna look ri pretty ridiculous at the moment. But, uh, trust me. Trust me on this. More parachutes. That's what we need. <laughs> okay. We'll save that design. Okay, now we are adding more and more weight, so we are gonna have to take off a lot sooner than normal. Uh, we will do a crew report. Because, uh, it, it's, it's still a little bit of, um, science. So we'll, we'll send that transmission as we go. So three, two, one. This time we'll ease ourselves towards 90. That's a better idea. <laughs> Okay, let's examine the mystery goo. Ah, the goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Scientific data, give me. And we're gonna do these ones. All of them, might as well. Uh, transmit. We're gaining fuel, I mean, we're gaining electric charge, so we might as well just transmit all of this. It's not gonna go to waste. It does say that it doesn't have enough electric charge, but it is slowly going once we have enough. Um, that's a nice thing. It's all automated. You don't have to keep reclicking it. All right, so here we go. I'm liking this now. Where are we? About thirty thousand. Uh, we might. No, we're not going to get into uh, space because, well, it's calculating this. We don't have this. Yeah. See, they ran out. We have forty-five left over. We are at forty-two thousand. That's not bad. One thing I want to do, let's flip like this. Once we get above 30,000, I want to EVA and see what that gives us. Uh, I guess we could do another crew report, considering we're not getting any higher than this. Keep the data. Also, we're going to observe Mystery Goo again, and we'll keep all that data. Oh. Wait, what? Did I open this? No, I didn't. Alright. Keep, 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 keep. We're going to EVA for a second. And EVA report, that's 5.6. You're starting to feel like you should really get back into the ship. Good plan. Okay, so that's stored in there now. So once we recover this on the ground, we will actually have basically all of the science that we need. Uh, I don't know how much science we're going to get on this, but it's going to be a lot. So what we're going to do 
We're going to turn it um, to our retrograde. We have plenty of science. We could transmit something back, but you know what? Let's just let's just recover it. We don't need to, considering we're going to come back into uh, Kerbin's atmosphere. Now, if I thought that we were going to blow up and crash, I would transmit, but I don't think we will. Okay, so... Now, one thing you can't do is actually get another EVA report and put it into the ship, which is interesting because how do you transport multiple experiments back home without, you know, transmitting them? So, and maybe it's just because this is a one-pod crew. Uh, so if I had three Kerbals, I could do three experiments. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure exactly how this works. So, uh, let's, uh, let's ditch this. At, like I said, at the retrograde right there. And goodbye. Open the parachutes. I should have activated those parachutes, but it's not going to matter. I don't think it would actually open up in time because I think it would disappear on us. Well, maybe not. It's flying right by us. What? How are we heavier? I don't understand. Okay. Goodbye, launch stage. You served us well. Yeah, I know. They have no parachute deployment on that. So it's actually going to smash into us now. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. That was so close. If it took out a mystery go, I would have been mad. <laughs> All right. Good. Now let's just speed up some time. That'll probably crash into the uh, the ocean. Is that our par- Yeah, that's our shadow. Okay, so that should go now. Yep, there we go. Open up. Alright, we're at six meters a second. Uh, that's- that's- I think that will save everything. Alright, land safely. Do not break anything, please. Beautiful. Look at that. Jeb, you made it home. Very nice. Okay, let's recover the vessel. So, let's see what we got. Uh, crew report, 3.5. EVA report, 5.6. Mystery goes 7. And then, of course, it degrades because we did the same uh, experiment over time. So, 3.1, 1.4, and then 0.6. And uh, recovery, 0.8. Good. So, we have 35 science. We can upgrade to survivability. Uh, no, stability. We want stability. We have 17 remaining, so we could actually grab this, but I don't think I want to at the moment. Let's see, we have flight control, which gives us SAS, a cockpit, a probe. Ooh, that's interesting. However, I think I want uh, battery packs for the probe, and more winglets. And then general construction, which gives us struts, which is needed. Launch struts, another radial decoupler, and uh, uh, stack decoupler, or tricoupler. Ooh, we have so much stuff to go into. Um, I don't think I'm going to go into this yet. Because this kind of leads down the road to landings. Because we don't really need these landing struts. I don't need that engine. And I don't need these parachutes. So. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go into flight control next. So 45 science. Let's go. Okay. Now that we have a radial decoupler. What we're going to do is we're going to add that. Of course. Throw these babies on. Um. Should we keep this on here? Yeah, these actually acted pretty nicely, so we'll do that. We'll get rid of these, though. We don't need those. And you know what? Let's add a little bit more fuel. That should work. Let's move these down to the bottom, or the center of weight, rather, because I don't want things to fly out of the control. Pioneer Mark 1. This is still the Mark 1, because we're using the same kind of launch setup, the two solid rocket boosters and the engine. Uh, we're not really changing much at the top here, so this is still the Pioneer Mark 1. Okay, so here we are on the launch pad. Uh, we gotta get going immediately here, so let's go. Three, two, one, sass on, go! Alright, very nice. This thing is starting to look good, except for these struts over here, but I'm afraid that if I take them off, I'm gonna lose some of these uh, scientific stuff. Scient yeah, scientific stuff, of course. Gotta have those scientific doodads. Okay, so we really don't need to do any crew reports or anything. Uh, actually, it doesn't really hurt, to be honest. So let's observe some mystery go and send it out. Because as I said, uh, we are gaining electric charge while flying, so we might as well do something with it. Now that'll take some time to actually send fully, but uh, we're trying to get to space right now, so uh, it doesn't really matter. 
There we go. Drop those off because I forgot to. And we'll head uh, up into space. That's good right there. 20%. Should be enough before we run out. 30,000. Let's get into space. Come on. We can do it. Well, that's not good. Uh, we are in space, so what we're going to do is drop that and, uh, well, activate our parachutes at about 50. We, don't, we can stop transmitting. Oh, we don't have any sass. So we'll activate our parachutes here. Yeah, we're still going to space, so that's perfect. All right. Let's get a crew report once we're up into space here. All right, you need to stop spinning. One little trick that I can do that still works is when I get into space, I can fast forward a little bit. That'll stop my craft from moving. Uh, and then we'll, do an, uh, we'll go out on an EVA mission, and uh, we'll see what it's like out there. Oh, throttle. There we go. It still works. EVA. EVA report, which is eight science. You've recorded your observations about the situation. Actually, cancel that. Jump off. Now do it. Oh, it doesn't say anything special. All right, well, I guess keep it. Jump on board. We're going to observe the mystery goo. And we're also going to do a crew report. Okay, it seems that we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. We'll keep that data. Goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Okay, that's interesting. One thing I actually want to see is re-entry. What re-entry does to uh, the goo. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw out one of them. So, we'll reset that goo. And, as I said, when we re-enter... When we're... Uh, when we re-enter, I'll see if that actually does anything to the goo. Because right now, it's cold and brittle, as we said. Yeah, clumped into a sphere, it appears to have become brittle. So, I want to see what it's like when we actually start re-entering. If that's even a thing. Cold still? No, nah, I don't like it. There we go. Observe. Still cold. All right, we might as well keep it. Oh! No, that's... The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. I guess that's fine, but... I would have thought that the re-entry heat would have done something to them. That's okay. This is still a new feature of the game. Obviously, things are bound to change and get added. So maybe we'll see something like that in the future. All right, fast forward. Slow down immensely here. There we go. Successful. Good, good, good. Now let's get down to the uh, the surface of the water and recover our vessel and see how much science we did actually get. And... Another successful landing. Good. Jeb actually made it into space this time. I like it. Alright. Uh, recover vessel. How much science? We have 38.8 .8 science. Awesome. So, uh, crew report, EVA report, just above Kerbin's water. Observation, again, like I said, it degrades over to... Okay, it looks like this one should have been there, and that should have been there, and that should have been... It degrades over time. <laughs> Done. Go into here. And now we have 59 science to work on. So, I think we're probably going to go into flight control here. Even though I want the next solid rocket booster and the next engine, I think we want to go into flight control. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Because I believe it's electricity is, uh, yeah, right there. Look at that. We want electricity so bad. This rechargeable battery bank, and, uh, oh my god, we get solar panels right there? That would be nice. <laughs> we also have lights, but I don't really need those right now because I'm not landing on a planet that's dark and scary. Alright, so we have, uh, 90 science to go to grab this. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. But, I hope you all enjoyed, thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.